What is the deal, all of my sneaker connoisseurs? And welcome back to Kicks and Fits. If this is your first time watching the channel, please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so that you can be aware anytime I drop some content. So let's slide right into the video. The topic of this video right here is are fake sneakers okay to buy? Eh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on buying fake products of anything. Um, but at the same time, I understand that not everybody has the pockets to go out here and spend the kind of money that you need in order to get certain types of products. For instance, let's say you want some Nike Dunks. They're, they are a shoe that retails at about 100 bucks, but trying to get them at that price is like fucking pulling teeth. So you end up having to go onto a marketplace like StockX or GOAT, where that shoe that you could have bought for 100 bucks retail at Foot Locker, you're now having to spend $300 on that same shoe. So when I see, I see people online, like uh, Sneaker Skinny, I saw him online saying he's not paying resale for anything. And then he comes on with a couple pair of fake sneakers. It makes me think like the the reseller market is driving the fake market. Because if I was able to get the shoe for a hundred bucks, there's no way in hell I would go and spend sixty bucks on a fake sneaker. Because that's how much fake sneakers be costing. They be costing like sixty, seventy bucks. And the more that the reseller market is outrageous, the more the fake seller is going to be able to sell the shoes for. I've seen websites that have Jordan 1 fakes. They're selling them for 150 bucks. When that same shoe would probably cost you 190 bucks, but you can't find it. Like if you go into one of these fake websites, you might be able to find the Obsidian Ones right now for 150 bucks. That's only what? 50 to 70 bucks below what they would actually the real pair would cost retail but if you wanted to buy them right now you'd have to pay 400 500 bucks for them so that's why the 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 fake seller is able to sell his shoes because the resellers are charging outrageous amounts and you got people out there that have you know things going on in their life and they want the sneaker they just don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it so if it wasn't for the reseller market, if the reseller market made sense, we wouldn't have the fake sneakers. And if if the fake sneakers didn't exist, then the shoe game would be much better. I could go online and buy shoes off of the Facebook marketplace without even thinking. But right now, you got me fucked up if you finna think I'm finna buy some shoes off the Facebook marketplace because I don't know if I'm gonna get some Fugazis, some Fukakas. Some fake ass sneakers. I'm not doing that shit. So this is the reason why um, the resellers are just killing the market. You're killing the market, um, and you're actually doing a disservice to the to the things that you like because you're forcing people to go out and buy fine fake sneakers. Now, if listen, as long as you're not trying to finagle somebody. Or get over on somebody with some fake sneakers, I feel a little bit better about it. Like, if you want some obsidian ones and you don't want to pay four hundred dollars for them, so you go and you go and find somebody on one of these websites that gets you a, a similar looking shoe for a hundred bucks, and it's your sneaker, and you don't plan on selling it to anybody. By all means, do your thing. Do your thing. But if you want to get those obsidian ones for 100 bucks that are fake, clearly fake, fake it and leave press on nails and then go on Facebook and sell that shit to somebody as if it was real, I hope you get your ass beat. Be honest. Be straight up. Let people know, hey, this is a fake sneaker. And some people might actually still buy it from you. They just don't want to wait for the shit to ship from China or wherever you're getting it from. You know what I mean? People will pay up front for a product that they can get in their hand today. They'll pay a little bit more than waiting for the shipping. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my thoughts on fake-ass sneakers. Um, as long as you're wearing the sneaker and you don't plan on selling it to nobody, that's your business. You do you. You know what I mean? I understand. 
some people can't spend three, four hundred dollars on sneakers. I'm not spending three, four hundred dollars on sneakers. My wife is not spending three, four hundred dollars on sneakers. But we will get that sneaker at retail for fucking my wife says she will as long as it's my money. Yeah. And that's not happening. But anyway, listen, listen. I'll spend 150 bucks on some sneakers. I'll spend 200 bucks on sneakers. I've done it before. But a thousand bucks on a sneaker, or one sneaker? No, nah, that's probably not gonna happen. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Nah, I'm not gonna do that shit. That's why I'm probably never gonna have a pair of Red Octobers, which is my favorite sneaker, man. I love that sneaker. Not gonna have it. If the Travis's shock drop and I'm able to get in there and get me some, I'll have some Travis's. But I ain't giving nobody four thousand dollars for the Travis's. You got me fucked up. It's not gonna happen. So anyway, man, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. I'm fucking out. Play my music.